Yes, a very good evening. Today, International Women's Day. Uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, and uh, I am Professor Dr. Anita Ramesh, Senior Consultant Medical and Pediatric Oncology from Chennai. Uh, yes, uh, we are going to talk on the metastatic colorectal cancer. You know that the colorectal cancer is one of the rising cancers. It has also a lot of new cases are detected. There is a screening method by where we go for stool local blood and we uh, do also for digital anal examination, rectal examination and we do colonoscopy. There is something called screening. And this particular portion of the patients can be screened of the colorectal cancer. But unfortunately, what happens, we always miss the diagnosis and we come late because some of the presentations are like diarrhea, alternating with constipation. We sometimes think it is routine constipation. Sometimes there may be bleeding with the stool. There may be piles. We think fissure. We neglect the diagnosis. And once the patient comes uh, very late, when the pain starts, we go to the doctor and that's when we get into an advanced cancer. So in our practice, we see many patients coming at advanced stage. So my uh, first thing to the viewers, do not neglect the signs and symptoms. If there is alternation in the motion, there is loose motion alternating with constipation, please make the doctor, if it doesn't get subsided with natural methods, bleeding continues in spite of treatment for piles and fissure. Next, you lose weight, there is pain abdomen and there is swelling of the abdomen. These are the conditions when you should uh, always meet the doctor. It is always preferable to do a whole body uh, master health checkup every year. So that has screening for colorectal cancer, occult blood, colonoscopy, sigmoidoscopy and a doctor's examination. This helps you to pick it up in early stage. And if you see early stage colon cancer, stage 1, 2, 3 is highly curable. You can do the surgery. Some cases need radiation. Definitely you may need chemotherapy if it is more than the early stage. So highly chance of cure. But the problem happens when you come in an advanced stage, that is the advanced and when the tumor spreads in the surrounding area, it goes to the nodes, it goes to the liver, lung and other parts of the body and that's what it is called metastatic colorectal cancer. The scenario changes, patient becomes sick, there is anemia, there is loss of weight, there is pain, there is swelling, there is bleeding, all these things keeps continuing at that point of time. Now, uh, so in such a case, what we need to do, a diagnosis is needed. First, we go for a scan, CT chest abdomen, or we go for a PET CT scan, whole body. We try to take a biopsy on the area, either a CT guided or a colonoscopic guided biopsy. We do histopathology. And also now is the era for a precision uh, uh, therapy. That is, we go for a um, molecular studies. We go for the PANRAS testing, we go for BRAF, HER2 and the newer modalities so that and BDL1 immunotherapy is there. So these tumors are now uh, classified and we see the staging of the tumor. At the same time we do look at the patient as a whole, we bring in the physician, we do the whole other organ checkup, the quality of life and then we proceed for the further treatment. Okay, once the patient is stable, we discuss in a multidisciplinary uh, meeting so that whether the surgery can be done or surgery may not be done and, and then we take the patient up for therapy. Yes, if it is operable, there is big role for operation in a colorectal cancer. But yes, chemotherapy forms a major role and if the receptors are mutated like pan ras mutated, there is a role of a drug called monoclonal antibody, anti-EGFR, that is a cetuximab. Cetuximab is available for us a couple of years and we are used to it. It's a, it's a drug where we give it to these patients in colorectal cancer as well as in head neck cancer. Head neck cancer, we don't do the testing, but in colorectal in mutated patient, we definitely use uh, for these drugs for uh, the, uh, the treatment. Yes, it involves uh, the tumor from, uh, it blocks the receptors and stops the signal transduction pathway and helps in the tumor kill. And this cetuximab can be given with any uh, uh, chemotherapy backbone, whether it is Fulfox or Fulferi, and along with that, uh, we are able to give uh, we are able to give uh, six to seven cycles of the chemotherapy and uh, eight cycles, and then we assess. Sometimes we do continue with this uh, EGFR anti major therapy in as a maintenance, yes, and or beyond progression. 
and those patients also colon cancer is now divided up into left side and right side right sided colon tumor is worse prognosis than the left side and if the agfr is wild type the first drug to be used is um, cetuximab and in the right side the tumors you mostly have the uh, braf positive tumors p53 positive high mutation rate high aggressive mate patient patients at late stage okay so those are the bad subset but then cetuximab is a drug which can be used both in the uh, metastatic setting it can be uh, used along with the you know, recurrent disease you can uh, use with any backbone you can uh, continue it as a maintenance therapy and even as a single agent and if cetuximab is not used in first line yes we can go in second line also and now a lot of data is coming up with the combination use of cetuximab and immunotherapy and uh, that's how we look into the future so colorectal cancer has several lines of treatment first line second third fifth line you have smaller drugs like regorafenib anti vegf like bevacizumab and uh, afibrisept and uh, uh, immunotherapy is also there her two positive therapies there so always i tell uh, colon cancer yes you can screen it has a precancerous stage you have different molecular diagnosis you have targeted therapy colon cancer in the metastatic stage you get an overall survival benefit up to 36 months with different combinations